you probably know of the five senses that God has gifted to all of us, um, which, which are these five senses. I'm not a doctor. I've just researched and, and probably even my kids know this because they teach them from very young age at school. Number one, it's the gift of sight. And then smell, hearing, taste, and touch five senses that I would like to call them as methods of communication. Why? Because through these senses, uh, the outside world communicates with us, and through these senses, we communicate with the outside world. We express ourselves due to these five senses. Now, unfortunately, I know that some people have disabilities, and uh, maybe one, two, some of the senses either naturally are absent or an accident happens, an illness happens, and, and they are limited uh, for, from these senses. Um, I remember during COVID, uh, how many people would, would uh, call me and ask for prayers because due to COVID, their sense of taste uh, or smell was absent. And so they were going to this very panic mode because due to that, um, their favorite food uh, was just tasteless, right? And the things, the little things in life that would give them so much happiness, all of a sudden they're gone. I even know people who this um, led them into depression. So it's important. Our, our senses are, how, that's how God made us. Uh, and I say this so you can realize what a gift it is from God. We feel like it's just a given, we have it, you know, kind of enjoy it and never worry about it, but that's not the case. I want you to think of these senses as God's gift to you. Now, as a good gift giver, He gives in all abundance. But you, as a gift receiver, you need to take care of that gift. You need to make sure that you keep them well that you are on top of it, that you they're healthy, they're well, and that's your responsibility as someone who has received these gifts. I say this because when we misuse the gift, we sometimes end up blaming the giver. That was not his heart. Our eyes, our sight, our hearing, when, when we don't know how to control them and they get out of use, don't blame the giver. Just think about you as someone who's received these gifts and what you are doing with them. Now, all these senses when they are at work, they uh, store information, they store experiences in your mind. And that affects directly one of your organs, that is your heart. So five senses at work, they get... Um, they, they, as, as, as they're working, they're storing certain things, they're trying to forget certain things, they're trying to do the right thing, but overall gets stored in your mind, which has a direct impact on your heart. The scriptures knew about this. Solomon, King Solomon knew about this. In his writings in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, he says, Keep your heart with all diligence. Why? From out of it, it springs the issues of life. What he's saying is, this five senses that makes you alive, gives you life to live, they directly are expressing what's in your heart. So you must keep your heart healthy. Diligence means being careful, being constantly attentive. And the word keep it means it's a constant work, everyday work. Just the way you take care of your computer memory, your phone memory, whatever memories nowadays we have. Everything is, is storing memory, the camera that I'm talking to. It's our responsibility to keep it with diligence, with carefulness, just to make sure that what comes out of it is also a blessing. You have a heart. And it's working. God's gift to you. You have senses. God's gift to you. But I tell you, I want us to be responsible in using them well, storing them well, keeping them well and healthy and available for God to use us. And today's responsibility to remember, to take ownership, is this. Keep your heart with all diligence. Why? Because from there spring 
spring the issues of life. If there are things in life that need to change, can I encourage you to go back and look into your heart? If you feel like things are getting out of control, they're just getting bad, please go back and look into your heart. You'll see that there's maybe some work to be done. I want to encourage you in that, to watch your heart, because from there comes, springs the issues of life. God bless you.